first of all, let me say that the, the Department of Agriculture, the Texas Department of Agriculture, United States Department of Agriculture, is not forcing uh, farmers to euthanize their livestock or plow their crops under. There has been a little bit of that happening, but under, it was under very specialized uh, circumstances, but it was not uh, forced by the government. So that all those rumors are, are exactly false. So what, what has happened, and, and I've, I've had to get some waivers in, in this area, uh, eggs, for instance, we had plenty of eggs, but you couldn't find any in the grocery store. The problem is that they have to be in a carton and labeled with the what farm it came from. USDA inspection has to be on it, our inspection, the size and grade of, of eggs. But we had hundreds of thousands of eggs that we, could, we couldn't sell because they're in 30-count flats unlabeled. And those were all ready to go to restaurants and, and uh, hotel chains and airlines and cruise ships and, you know, things like that. So I was able to get a waiver where we could, you know, sell those unlabeled eggs. So if you're still having trouble finding eggs, call, call one of your local restaurants. It's now legal for them to sell that. Uh, we had a similar problem in milk. We had uh, a, a, a snafu in the labeling problem, and, and uh, we were having a, a hundred dairies in Texas were going to close if we didn't get that fixed. And these are the dairies that would supply powdered milk. So I was able to get a waiver and uh, make that happen, and we those hundred dairies are still open. And by the way, we haven't dumped any milk in Texas. Most of that milk that you see on the news that's being dumped is up in Wisconsin and the cheese-producing uh, states. Most of ours is, is fluid milk. We make a little bit of cheese and a lot of powdered milk here in, in Texas. So we, we were fortunate that, that we didn't have 100 dairies go out, go out of business here in, in Texas. But the problem is 40% of milk goes to cheese. Well, the Mexican food restaurants, the pizzerias, the Italian food restaurants, you know, hotels, they're up they're, they're non-operating, so there was no market for that cheese. 